Hey, welcome to video number 159 of Walker This Way with Hazel Walker, the queen of all things. B and I and networking. I am Mark Simmons. Hazel. Yeah. Friends out there, our video friends, you may remember my friend, Frosty the Referral Man. So last week he was dancing because he was the life of the party. Yeah. This week we had a discussion. And it was about what's what do you what are you most grateful for for the last year? And he, and he said, I don't know, what are you grateful for? And it got me thinking, you know, this year has been a really struggling year for many people. And we've done a lot of looking at other people yeah. and saying, this is wrong, this is wrong, whatever. Now's the time to maybe have a little look inward and say, <coughs> what, are, what are we appreciate? What are we grateful for? Because what was the past year like? Well, this is always, I'm going to take a drink of water because, uh, flowers allergies hazel loves hypoallergenic flowers i do i love yes. flowers but they, they don't exist they don't oh, i think i think they're called plastic flowers silk silk <laughs> yes. flowers this is the time of year the next two weeks really from christmas and the week after christmas i had a friend that taught me this years ago he would take the week after christmas and go away and he'd find like an Airbnb or some place where he could just isolate for one week. And I would ask him, what, what, did, what did he do? What was he doing when he was at goal setting? And he said, no, it's reflection. He goes, we have a tendency as humanity to not reflect, reflective thinking. When we're looking back at everything that we've done, what we've accomplished, what we were excited about that we accomplished, what we didn't accomplish, what worked, what didn't work, um, and where we want to go from there. And he goes, and when you're plotting your future, when you're setting your intention for the following year and you haven't taken time to reflect what you've already completed, you don't know what to be grateful for. You don't know what didn't work. You're just going to be spinning your tires. Right. So he always used that time to do that level of reflection, time to reflect upon the year. Mm -hmm. And the things that I, and I started practicing that too. This is my two weeks of really reflecting what I've done well, what I haven't done well, what I've learned. What did I learn this year? We never reflect on that. Like we never really reflect on what did I, what were the lessons that I learned and actually began to implement into my life this year? And what do I want to take from this year and move to next year and get better at? Mm -hmm. Right. And that all starts with just going quiet, taking some alone time and reflecting upon the year. And once you start doing all of that reflection work of what worked, what didn't work, mm -hmm. what was I excited about? What was I not so excited about? What lessons did I learn? What lessons do I need to learn and implement? And what am I grateful for? What happened that I'm really grateful for now that I'm at the end of the year? Some of those things will be negative things. Like I was really grateful this year. I feel really grateful for COVID. I feel really grateful for COVID because when the pandemic came along, it forced me to stay in Indiana, which I was a little hostile about, but it also gave me time to spend with my mother to help her get her estate in place, um, to, to, to build my relationship with her, to go deeper into our relationship. And when she, and to help her as she transitioned into hospice and to reunite my brothers and my sisters around my mother. Mm -hmm. um, and then when she passed away, I felt that sense of gratitude and privilege that would not have happened had it not been for the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Right. So my mother passed away, but I felt that this last two years gave me that opportunity to go deeper into my relationship with her and say all of the things that needed to be said right. and give her the chance to say all of the things that she needed to say. Right. 
So sometimes we just need to reflect on what's happened and what was that lesson I learned from it and what am I grateful for? And so I'm grateful for that. And I, the lesson that I learned is I need to take time to slow down, to go deeper into relationships. That's a lesson I learned, right? right? And pay attention to the, the people that I care about. So if you don't take the time to reflect, if I just keep storming through life the way I have a tendency to do, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recognize that as something to be grateful for or something that was important. Yeah. And, you, and right? you, bring up, you bring up a good point. You know, not so the pandemic. Some people thrived. Some people did not thrive. Some people lost their life. Everybody had different experiences as we went through it. And, you know, this might be a, a little bit of a different direction, but when we're sitting there in the big, big, in the big pile of whatever that stink is around us, the yeah. trauma, the drama, the chaos. And you and I talked about this earlier today is you have a choice in those moments on what you're going to do with it. Correct. Right. You can choose to look at it and go, it stinks and I hate this. And then now we circle or yep. even though it does stink and feel these way, this way, I can do something with it. What I can I learn from it. I can learn from it. I can make a different choice. I don't, you know, yep. I, so part of reflecting is I understand what are your patterns of behavior? What do you always go? What's the safety? And sometimes safety doesn't mean it's actually good for you in your, in your pattern. It's just, you're so used to it. You're going to keep going there. And right? I think that's maybe one of the reasons people don't reflect. Yeah. You're scared they to don't... see what's, they don't want to see what was was back there and they don't want to explore it and they don't want to feel it. Right. Right. But I cannot say enough at the end of the year is the time for you to set time aside to reflect on the year. And that will allow you to build your next year right. of what you want to do. And that includes your business, your life. But, you know, I'm, I'm now yeah. planning my next year based on that reflection. And, and the next two weeks, and the last two weeks of the, this month will be uh, a deeper time for me to go into that. And I journal a lot. So yeah. I'll reflect a lot in writing. And the, the great thing about reflection and, and writing is a great way, like make notes, write things out of your head onto paper right. will really help you. But the nice thing about knowing it is, at least if it's written and you see it, you may not do anything with it. We always recommend do something, take some action. But even if there was an exercise of writing down what you're, what worked, what didn't work, what you're happy with, what you're not, and you see what you it, learn. What you did can you make learn? an informed choice or decision on what you want to do with it. If you choose to do nothing, it's still a choice. But at least you know. At least you know what you're dealing with. And someday you will, because I know that I go, I've been journaling since the 80s. And I go back to old journals Every now and then, and I'll read things and go, oh, that's where I learned this. Or, oh, this is where I, ah, I should go back to that, right? Sometimes it takes me back to things that are important. And sometimes it shows me where I've, how I've changed and how I've grown and, and developed, right? Yeah. So that's one of the reasons I love journaling is it just gets it out of my head. But it's my place to reflect. And I would encourage everybody that week after Christmas, spend some time thinking. Yeah. Collective thinking, planning, thinking, creative thinking. You, there's just so many kinds of ways. There's eight, diff, six or eight different ways of thinking hat, thinking hats. Yeah. And, and on that, just add to that. So thinking is not overthinking. It is not judging. It's not being critical or harsh on yourself. No. Be super gentle. What I think some buzzwords around uh, reflection is also compassion, not just for others, but also for yourself, like for be yourself. gentle on yourself. Um, you know, when important. you learn better, when you reflect and you look at what you learned, you will realize you can do better. Yeah. When I learn and become better, I then can do better. And the expectation is that I will do better. Okay. And I want to just, before we end this, I want to make something really clear. I know we have our friend Frosty, the referral man. I do not have actual conversations with him. I know he sits on my shelf, been there all year. I don't have these, con hey, guess what? And if I do... I actually don't hear him respond. Maybe. Well, I'll leave that with you. you can decide thou thou do does protest too yes, much. I knew that was coming. Okay. So 
great topic. It's a time for reflection. It's a time to make choices to, you know, change things, do things, be amazing, continue, continue doing what you're doing. Uh, writing it down is really great. Think great about what you've to, learned. Think about what you learned and what are you, what are you going to do differently next year? And it doesn't have to be that you're going to do something different. You could keep doing the same thing. You get to choose it. All right, Hazel. I'm going to reflect on our video on reflection. <laughs> Till <laughs> next time. We need to take time to reflect on these videos. We really do. All right. Till next time. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.